Gianduia. 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 Hi everyone. Welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. It's so good to see all of you. I wanted to get this recipe in before Mother's Day, which is Sunday, in case anybody wants to make it. This is um, a Gianduia pie. Now I'm Italian, I should know how to say it, but eh, like I say, my parents uh, didn't teach us to talk Italian. They only talked Italian when they did, to each other when they didn't want my brother and I to know what they were saying. So, Gianduia is actually an Italian pastry. It's a combination of like um, chocolate, sugar, and hazelnuts. Did you ever hear of that candy? I think it's called Bacci, B-A-C-I. I'll put a little picture of it up on the screen for you. But, um, Gianduia, <laughs> I'm going to crack myself up, sorry, is another word for an Italian pastry, chocolate hazelnut pastry. Today, I'm making for you a gianduia pie. And uh, it's only a few ingredients. It's no bake. And uh, it is delicious. So um, I'm going to insert a couple of pictures. I found some beautiful pictures of... Um, some Italian bakeries in Italy, in different parts of Italy. They're so cool. I've never been to Italy, but um, if I was to go, I would definitely want to visit some of those bakeries. They look awesome. Some of them have the seats outside. We can sit out there, have your espresso and your um, gianduria pie. Say Janduia. Okay, Janduia. All right, so here we go. Let's get started. You don't have to preheat your oven because we're not using an oven, which is great, right? You are going to use an electric mixer. You can use a hand mixer or you can use this uh, stand mixer. I'm using my stand mixer. I use it so much that it always stays out here on my island. It's just too heavy to move in and out, moving in and out. What you're going to need for this recipe is you're going to need three quarters of a cup of chopped hazelnuts. Now, I have them here because what I did is I put them on this baking sheet. Now, these are chopped. I happen to have purchased these chopped hazelnuts. Um, you don't have to buy them. Um, if you buy whole hazelnuts, what you have to do is you have to... Um, Bake your hazelnuts at 350 degrees for about 10 minutes because um, you want to toast them. Toasting them really brings out the flavor. But what I did is I bought the chopped hazelnuts and I put them in my toaster oven. And let me tell you, they're really good. These roasted, baked mm, hazelnuts are so delicious. It really does bring out a great flavor. Now, if you were to use the whole hazelnuts, you'd have to bake them and let them cool. And then you'd have to rub them in a towel when they're cool to get the skins off them. And um, then you'd have to put them in maybe a food processor to chop them. So I took the easy way out. I've got them already chopped here and I've got them already roasted. Easy peasy. So let me put, whoops, so let me put these aside. All right, the next thing in your mixer, you're going to put one and a half cups of heavy cream. Mm -hmm. so let me put that in there. And then I'm gonna put in some vanilla. So we wanna put in there a teaspoon and you have to use pure vanilla, no imitation vanilla. 
so let's put that in there. Now I'm going to put this on and I'm gonna whip it until my cream forms peaks because we want to make whipped cream out of this. So let me get that started. But before I do, let me just tell you what else you're going to need. You're going to need Nutella. Who doesn't love Nutella? Mm -mm -mm. Hazelnut spread with cocoa. Now this happens to be a bigger jar I purchased. This is like I think a 20... 6.5 ounce jar. This recipe only calls for, um, I believe it's a 13 ounce jar of Nutella. So you can buy the smaller jar or you can do what I did. I have one of those little mini food scales and I measured out 13 ounces from here. I love Nutella. The best way to eat Nutella is just like oh, this. Mmm, so good. Who doesn't like Nutella? Do you like Nutella, cameraman? Sure. It didn't sound very convincing. Oh, uh, sure. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start mixing this, and I'll be back when the peaks form. So don't go away. Okay, now in a separate small bowl here, I have my 13 ounces of Nutella. So to this Nutella, I am gonna add one quarter of my whipped cream. So let me put that in there now. That looks like about a quarter here. And I'm going to mix that. So we have a Nutella and whipped cream mixture here. So let me get that all combined. What we're going to call this is our lightened Nutella mixture. Okay. Nutella is thick, so got to use my muscles to mix all this. <laughs> there you go. Starting to get a little light, say, light in color, because Nutella is pretty dark. I think I'm going to put a tiny bit more in here. I thought I had about a quarter, but there you go. Okay. Now, after I get this all mixed, this... Jandouille pie is very easy to make. I'm going to get that all mixed in there. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my lightened Nutella mixture into the rest of my whipped cream and vanilla mixture. So let me get my spoon out of here. going to, with my sabatula, put this in with the whipped cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, look at that. Oh yeah. I don't mind leaving a little bit in the bowl. Who doesn't like to lick the bowl? I know I do. All right. Now I'm going to combine the two. What? What did you say? I don't like to lick the bowl. <laughs> cameraman is talking to me over there and I'm like I hate when he talks to me and I'm doing something because I he's doing sign language and he's talking so I said what he goes I don't like to lick the bowl why not didn't you ever lick the bowl when you were a kid I wasn't allowed to oh all right so I'm gonna mix these two together now once I fold the two together and get them all mixed I'm gonna add my chopped hazelnuts to this now I don't think I'm gonna add my three quarters of a cup I think maybe I'm going to put in maybe a half a cup and I'm going to save some to embellish the top of the pie. So let me get this all mixed. You see how it's all mixing together here? Now you say, Diva, okay, so where are you putting it? <laughs> Besides in your mouth. Um, I have here, I purchased, I cheated, 
I purchased a chocolate pre-made pie crust. Now, you can make your own if you like, but this is a nice shortcut. Um, now, I'm going to take some of my delicious, delicious toasted hazelnuts, and I'm going to add some of them right to this mixture. Mmm. Okay, I think that's good. The recipe does call for three quarters of a cup, but you can use whatever you like. All right, so we have all that mixed, and now we're going to put it into our chocolate pie crust. Now it's going to be very um, thin because this has to be put into the refrigerator for a minimum of eight hours or more. So I don't know if we're going to be tasting this today or I'm going to be tasting it tomorrow. I'm not sure. So here we go. I'm putting the mixture into the pie crust. Oh, does that look divine? Mmm, look at that. Yummy in the tummy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Okay. And then you're going to take your spatula and you're going to smooth out the top of the pie. There we go. So now I guess it's a good time for me to mention to you that if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you'd go down below and hit that red subscribe and the little bell next to it till it says all and that's it. It's free and you're a subscriber and you won't miss any of my future videos because YouTube will send you a notification. So I'm going to sprinkle a few of my, there we go, a few of my hazelnuts on the top. You can do as many or as few as you like. And then this baby is going into the refrigerator. And I'll be dreaming of this tonight because <laughs> I probably will cut it tomorrow. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned because I will be back in eight plus hours to do a taste testing on this and let you know how this Jeanne, wait, how do you say it again? Jeanne No, wait, what is it again, cameraman? Jeanne No, that's not it. <laughs> let me see. Let me go back to my iPad. I have no clue. <laughs> go on my iPad to this um, site. It's called, uh, what kind of an Italian am I? Poor excuse for an Italian. I had to go into this site that's called Pronounce Names. So let me see. Pronounce Names.com. Pronounce Names.com. John Duia. John Duia. Say that, cameraman. John Duia. John Duia. John Duia. John Duia. Okay. John Duia. We'll be back in eight plus John hours Duia. to taste this. John Dooley, John Dooley. Hi, so don't, so don't go away. Hi everybody, okay, I'm back. Um, the pie has been in the refrigerator actually all night. Um, they say eight hours plus, but I left it in all night. And now it's lunchtime the following day, and I'm gonna cut a piece. And I'm gonna do a taste testing for this John Dooley pie. <laughs> so let me cut it. See what this baby tastes like. Mmm. You know the first piece is always the hardest to take out, so we'll see if I can do it. Now, you should not serve this with any um, chocolate syrup or anything like that. It'll be too much. The suggestion is to um, serve it with a little bit of whipped cream if your little heart desires. So let me try to get this out of here. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, look at that. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh my goodness, I can't wait to taste it. Oh man, can you see it, cameraman? All right, I'm gonna squirt a little bit of my Ready Whip on there and do a little taste testing. Whoa, oh, 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 look at that.
Let me go get myself a fork. Hold on. Like I mentioned, this is an Italian dessert. It has Nutella in it. Um, it's supposed to resemble the Italian bocce uh, candies. So let's see. Mmm. I can't wait to try it. Mmm. It's very creamy. It didn't get real hard. It's very creamy. Mmm. 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 I'll tell you. The hazelnuts that I, I, I baked, they just are making this pie over the top. Those hazelnuts, if you toast them, they have a flavor all of their own. They're really good. The pie is, is pretty sweet. Mmm. Very good. I've seen people make this with um, not a chocolate pie crust. They've used like a regular pie crust. You can do that if you want. But I like the chocolate. Let me try it with a little whipped cream on it. Mmm. Mmm. Yes. Mmm, it's delicious. And you saw how easy it was to make. What, like four ingredients? So, I would definitely say make this pie. It has like a, almost like a, a chocolate hazelnut silky consistency to it. And when you bite into it, you taste those um, hazelnuts and the whipped cream. It's really good. So, I want to thank everybody who tuned in and took time out of their busy schedule to watch this. I want to say welcome to all my new subscribers. And if you haven't already subscribed, go down and smash that red subscribe and the little bell next to it. And yeah, that's it. You'll be a subscriber. So I want to wish everybody out there a very happy Mother's Day. So until next time, from moi and the cameraman. Right, cameraman? Right, moi. Okay. I'm going to wish everybody a happy Mother's Day, and I'll see you all soon. Toodles! I'm going to finish my pie. It's so yummy. Mmm.